I had inboxed you when it was kind of going on. Uh, Danny got into it with not Chris <laughs> Brown, the rapper, but Chris Brown, the vocalist from Trapped. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Boo. No, but uh, so he got into it with him. How did that start? Okay, so basically, I'm not going to say quote me on everything, but uh, Chris Brown was running his mouth. You saw all the, the posts and stuff. He was, yeah. he was just running his mouth. Yeah, fine, freedom of speech, whatever, but. He's got. A, I think he should have just relaxed on some of that dumb shit he was saying. But then he got into it with Ice T and said, "Well, let's compare record sales." One, Ice T is a fucking icon. Your name is Chris Brown from Trapped. Yeah. Ice T, Chris Brown. Who who's gonna be remembered in the end for music? <laughs> one of the innovators of hip hop and one of the greatest like thrash punk bands in body count. And he's also been on SVU for twenty two fucking seasons. Or Chris Brown from Trapped. So you're gonna. Try to have a pissing contest with Ice T. One that's stupid as fuck. Former pimp, smart as fuck. Give me a break. So then, all Danny, Danny chimed in because Ice T and Danny are good friends. Yeah. Actually, last month on Fox News, check out the New York Hardcore Streetwear. Ice T rocked this on Fox News for us. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah, and he's like, check out New York Hardcore Streetwear. Go to force5records.com. Danny Diablo merch. <laughs> <laughs> Randy, if you're able to put a plug on that too. Yeah. Do, if but, you can build the graphic quick. But basically, I mean. Uh, Danny was like, yo, what the fuck are you doing talking shit about Ice-T? So then Chris went off on Danny, didn't realize who he was, and said, you look like a tattooed meth head, you ain't shit, blah, blah, blah. And everyone in the hardcore world and hip-hop was like, yo, do you know who you're talking to? Like, I'm not going to say, but I'm going to say, Danny has got a lot of connections. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and Danny is not one to, like, cross. So when Chris started running his mouth, it just blew up on, on the Twitterverse. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, I mean, we ran with it and just started fucking talking shit to him. I actually tried to call. Uh, I I wrote to him like, "Yo, why are you saying this? Why you know it's stupid? Like, just squash it. Like, don't talk shit about Ice T or Chris. Yeah. I mean, or, or uh, Danny. And he just ran his mouth to me. I'm like, well, what the fuck? This guy's just like obviously unhinged. Like, I'm trying to have like a logical thing with him. So I was like, fuck it, whatever. And I'll tell you what, our uh, numbers went through the roof when that happened. Man. <laughs> <laughs> we sold so much merch. There's no such thing as bad publicity, yeah, you know, so, especially yeah. like when you're on the winning side of I, it. I actually had a few people that were like acquaintances and friends in, in music, like go, yo, you're just you're just uh, trying to be chasing for clout. I'm like, we're doing what we're supposed to do as businessmen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like musicians suffer. We go up and down all the time. If that gave us, I mean, he was in Rolling Stone, covered it, uh, Blabbermouth covered it, PRP, like all those big, like they covered everything. They were showing like videos on Force Five, like we were killing it. You know yeah. what I mean? So I'm like, well, fuck it. Of course I'm going to run with them. I'm going to say, shut the Rolling Stone. Take that off, please. Yeah. I, I don't want that clout chasing bullshit. Give me a fucking break. Yeah. Make money. Yeah. Um, I remember I had hit you up and he was like, oh, we can fight, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I was like, Donnie, I was like, this is your chance. I was like, you tell him to come to Milwaukee. I did. I tried, man. I'll train him. I'm I like, tried. I'll work with him. Like, what are we going to do here? We can do boxing. We can do kickboxing. We can do MMA. Chris Brown of Trapped. If you want to fight Danny. We've got the UFC connection over here. The, uh, we, we, we can make something happen for charity. Let's do it. Danny's ready. 